we're getting close now. Redstone is in. The silicon has been working away. 272,000. How close are we? We gotta be close. <gasps> it's ready. We have it all. We can craft an infinite storage part. <laughs> Hello everyone. Welcome back to All The Mods 8. I was genuinely expecting this to take a couple more minutes. I thought I would start off the episode and get ourselves settled in before this was ready to go. But I do not have to wait any longer. In the first minute here, we're going to craft an infinite storage part. We already have two of the 262 million available. Let's press start. And so the process begins. The 1K storage part, we're crafting 130 odd thousand of. Actually, yeah, 136,000. This is gonna take a minute to go through all of these processes and get it done. But we're gonna end up with an infinite storage drive to finish it all off. Oh my goodness. 50,000 raw processes. What else have we got? 170,000 basic raw processes. We've got 333,000 sand to craft. My goodness. Going through all the different bits and pieces that we already had with the goal of crafting on one of these. Oh, it's crafting 100,000 or so of the uh, processor bindings here. Going through and crafting up our raw advanced processes. Yeah. <laughs> this is going to take a minute. But I'm going to wait on this screen and eventually it's going to end with us having all of the storage in the world. Infinite, never ending, the big swirly sideways eight. <laughs> okay, you can do it, I believe. Oh boy, we're getting close. We almost have all of the 1K storage parts ready to go. And I think once we do that, it's just going to start to fly through. It's been crafting for 12 to 13 minutes by itself here. And I think it's nearly processed everything. It's starting to craft up a bunch of different uh, bits and pieces of these storage parts. I've only got a few more processes to go. Everything else is stored, scheduled. It's just these basic processes. You can do it. I believe we already have a billion storage part and now it just has to go through processing all of these. Come on. Now, some of this has been limited by the fact that I didn't really make the crafting recipes properly in that I did it a one to one when I should have done it at a stack at a time. This could have gone a lot quicker, but it's a learning process. This is my first time ever playing with auto crafting. And I feel like from a few episodes ago when I just started to dabble in it compared to now, the change has been quite significant. And it makes me really excited for trying it out in the future and being able to set up auto crafting earlier on. Come on, you got this. The main thing that is holding us back right now is these basic processes needing 90,000 of them to be processed or scheduled up for processing. Once we have these last few of the 1K storage parts done, it's just a matter of flowing through all of them. There's a few other things to process like these. That's almost done maybe it's making more as we go but as each one of these finishes up its last little bit of processing it's just gonna start flying through there we go we have our second one billion storage part it's working towards the third one and once we have the third one we get infinity i'm just looking at these last few things down here trying to work out when it's going to get to the point where I can process this a little faster. And if we have time, I can quickly come over here and check. You can see how this is kind of like turning on temporarily, but it's not flowing quite perfectly, which is fine. Our power setup here is still at 20 billion, so I'm not too worried about that. Okay, the process is getting there. It's processing about 500 of these at a time every couple of seconds, so we are getting so close. Oh my God. Look at those 1K storage parts, almost done. There's like less than a hundred thousand things to craft now. Oh, it's starting to burn through the uh, the storage parts. Five thousand. I'm ready. What? Did it hang? Did it do that thing where it's hanging again? Okay, I'm gonna cancel all, and then I'm gonna do this. 
Start. Yes! We did it. We did it. Storage. Infinite storage part. In my hand, I hold infinity. I hold the potential of infinite storage. And it's kind of hard to comprehend that. I can play this as long as I want. Like, my computer would break before this thing filled up with items. I could put billions upon billions of items in there. And we may <laughs> we may crash our computer if eventually we put too much of the wrong MPT data in there. But as far as, like, all of these farms and stuff, we can easily do that. We can easily just keep that as it is. So... With this in our hands, we can remove infinite storage drive from our list. And it only took 20 minutes to autocraft. <laughs> so, there it goes. We did it. Now, somewhere along here in refined storage, I actually haven't collected these things, which is a little bit of a shame, but I do have this in my hand. It just has dependencies of having these different parts. So we can't actually claim our way through all of this. But by the looks of things, it doesn't really give you much in the way of rewards anyway. So I'm not too worried. Look at us. All we have to do now is combine it with one of these. I'm just going to start that process, make myself a advanced storage housing. And there it is an infinite storage disk. If I come over here, I'm gonna put it in position number one and it says 0% full. And that should probably never change <laughs> because it doesn't matter. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna take these out and in here we have our disk manipulator. Over here I have a stack upgrade and some speed upgrades, which I can probably put in there like so. And... If I do this, it's going to very slowly start going through that process. So instead, we're going to upgrade these. I'm going to take that and it is used in an elite disk manipulator. So we're going to add that over to here. We're going to check what that requires. I can craft one of those things. And then I need a couple of things from there. Disk manipulator, elite disk manipulator. Hey. There we go. At least for that one, we got something. And then it looks like there is an ultra one. So if I want to make another one of those, one, two of those, then we can make ourselves another elite. And that is used in this, which I can craft up the things for. And my thinking is that the ultra version, oh, there's a creative one. Okay. The creative one will do it instantly, but I'm going to do it with this instead. We can add oh, speed upgrades, but I can't add a stack upgrade. And with that, yeah, it's going to take a little while. But as we walk around, that's going to fill up our infinite storage disk here. And it's the only one we're ever going to need. I'm very happy. <laughs> yes. Now, while that is continuing to transfer across, we're nearly at 500,000 stored in there. And we only had about a million 400,000 overall, so less than a million to go. I've gone through and I've added the fluid storage parts to my little crafting list over here because for Master of Reality, I believe, yeah, there is the option to use a storage part or a fluid storage part from extra discs. Now, if we were to go into here and do the 1 billion we're once again going to need a lot of stuff. Now, by the looks of it, we have the resources for most of it, but with the fluid, you sort of start off at 64K and it's it's pretty simple. And getting our way up to here should be a little bit easier. So as this continues its process, in fact, speed upgrade. I wonder if I can make one more. Speed upgrade. I can craft a few of those things but I may not have the stuff in there to make it yet. That's fine. Do I have something somewhere else that I can steal it from? Eh, maybe, <laughs> maybe not. But we're gonna go through here and what I'm gonna do is I'm going to do this. So when I looked at that, it showed that we don't actually have a crafting 
for a bucket. So we're going to make a bucket crafting pattern. And then we go through this process. A 64K. I have all of the stuff there for that. Now that I've got a bucket. And much like when we were going through and making the batteries, I sort of have everything prepared. That's the 4,000. This one I have everything for as well. Then we go to the 65K. I have everything for it as well. <laughs> Up to the 262 million. And then finally, the billion. Now that can be added over to probably my refined storage here. So 64K, 256, then that, then that, then that, that, that. And that fits perfectly in there up to a billion. And then all we have to do is find a good crafter, which is my general one just here, put in the bucket and I should technically almost be able to do it. I just need a thousand string and I have just the way to get that. Stop stepping up there. Oh wait, no, I don't. <laughs> I changed it. Ah, my 16 million drive is done. Ta-da. <laughs> I can just store those away because they're not needed anymore. Now, the question is, do I actually have enough of? Yes, <laughs> I uh, I probably already had enough of the string. It just needs to be transferred across. So can I craft up this fluid here? Missing more than we were before. <laughs> Hold. Yeah, I'm going to have to wait for everything to transfer across. I just should have gone to creative. I'm never going to have to use it again. So probably would have been a waste of resources. A fourth speed upgrade was made, 30,000 to go. The million storage disk is now retired. And with that, I can craft a 1 billion fluid storage. This one should go a little bit quicker than uh, the other one that we did. Yeah, look at that. Like even in just the time that I'm talking, it has basically finished. So when it comes to crafting ourselves, this, we have one of those pieces already. We can make the batteries very easily. There's just a couple of things that we're going to have to uh, obviously work towards. But that is not today. Today is making the most of what we have and setting up, well, a few things for the creative crafting line. But what I want to do now that I have all the silicon that I needed, and I'm already back up to nearly 50k, is remove all these seeds. I don't need them in here anymore, producing up. And I think I'd like to see how this goes, this whole setup as it is. There's so many particles, it's actually hard to see which ones I've got. Is that, is that it? <laughs> is uh, see how that whole setup goes with, where did I break? There we go. With nether star cruxes. If I can get 80 of these set up with nether stars underneath, you can already see it's picked up the pace here. Setting it up so that... Uh, this system is doing that in the background has really made an effort towards making it faster and if i go through here this is also a bunch of silicon that i no longer need in fact i'm going to take this out because it's causing too many particles for me to even keep track of what's happening on top of that i don't think i'm going to need any more of the uh the nitro thing Seventeen thousand nitro crystal Bits and bobs should be enough. And I've got 23,000 of the dragon egg. So I'm happy to remove that as well. That means that those two can go away. And we can start working on one, finalizing the three, three and one last one there. So we have nine of each of the, uh, the all the modium, the vibranium and the unobtainium going at all times. And then, hmm. Maybe we do half of this and all of this one with the Nether Star Cruxes. Now, the Nether Star Crux is going to be expensive. We need a bunch of Nether Stars, so we're going to use a lot of what we have available in here to craft those up. And then on top of that, we need Withering Souls. Now, there's a 35% drop chance from that, and I probably have a handful of them in there. Let's see. Wither? I've got two. But I think we might head over to the mining dimension. Do you have anything good? It's the one that I missed out on at the start of the series. Hold on. Diamond. We'll make a diamond axe. We'll grab ourselves some of this. No, I already bought a really nice helmet from you. There we go. Tree capitator. 
you're finally home. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Means nothing really now, but it's fine. So, as I was saying, we're going to uh, set ourselves up for that. It's probably going to require a few more dragon fights. In fact, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of those need to be crafted. And each one of those, one dragon fight gets me two. Uh, so it's only like three more dragon fights. That's fine. But we need to fight the wither. And I think a smart way to go about that, well, there's a few things that we could do. We could make a wither builder from industrial foregoing. I'm not sure whether we have the things for it. Let's just quickly see. Um, the plastic would be part of the problem. Or <laughs> we could do it the stupid way and just grab a bunch of skulls. Uh, one, two, three, two stacks of withers seems good enough. Grab a bunch of soul sand. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And uh, head over to a big... Oh, I need you. Head over to a big hole on the ground. Now this place is big now. <laughs> you can actually get an idea of what I did in regards to gathering the resources over the last few episodes. I expanded out. You can see the blank area where there is no all the modium. That was the size of our original rectangle that we got all of the stuff from. This is all of the area that I mined out with my chunk destroyer to get the rest of the resources. It, it barely even compares. If you thought that it was a large area before, right now, it's ridiculous. It's actually ridiculous. It's to the point where it's hard to read the scale of this thing <laughs> just by, uh, by standing down here. But what we are going to do is so stupid. We're going to go here, set up a T, and then if I do this... <laughs> How long will this take? How many can I make? It'll be 128, honestly. That'll do. That's 128 withers in a row. And the real question is, if I put one of these in my offhand... Yep, it works! <laughs> Hold on. And... Yeah! Yeah! That's 128 withers. Wish me luck. Ah. <laughs> I can't hear anything right now. I'll give you a slight volume warning and just for ever so shortly turn it up to the volume that it's actually happening at for me. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty loud. I should probably put this stuff in here so that it automatically picks it up. I'd hate to know how many I've destroyed. <sighs> I'm pretty sure I destroyed a lot of them. <laughs> oh boy. But, uh, it ain't over. I'm gonna put some of this away. In fact, I'm gonna put a lot of this away. And then we're gonna take on the rest of the withers that stayed down below. Hey friends! I'm back for more. Come on. <laughs> there we go. My game is lagging out something fierce. I'm actually lagging this whole place out, I think. Come on. <laughs> I think it may be the number of skulls that are being sent around. That is the problem. Whew. It gets pretty hectic. That's for sure. Oh. All right, just a few more to go. Oh, there we go. <laughs> I am a god at this point. Come on. There's holes in all the walls. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Follow. Here we go. The last little batch. Is that it? I think so. And even still, it might not be enough. <laughs> okay. So... I'm sure in all of that, that I actually lost a decent amount. But, out of 128, we nearly doubled the amount. I would expect more, but at the same time, you never know what happened in all of that. Now, a lot of this stuff is things that I've never really got into, and I don't know if I will. I can prevent a bunch of deaths, but as we just saw, uh, I don't think I can really die. <laughs> At least not to something as simple as a vanilla wither. Not at this stage. So, 
Let's have a quick fly around. Look at the damage that they did to my walls. The amount of shots that were fired out in different... Oh, hello. I think this was what was causing the lag, was an ungodly amount of these guys going all the way over here and then doing that. <laughs> so I'm going to fly around and just, uh, just allow these things to do what they need to do. Be on their slow little journey to the walls. Can I break them? Can I take the hit? I can take the hit. Cool. Oh, here we go. Bang, bang, bang. All the stuff that went out of, uh, of render distance as we were fighting. <laughs> there we go. Do your thing. Anything over here. And then if we jump up atop here, there's probably going to be a bunch flying out into the stratosphere. Okay. Let's see what we can do with what we just got. Now, after spending some time going through and clearing out all of my stuff, I've uh, got rid of most of it, but there is something important that I did want to talk about. And that is, I went into my system after I'd done everything. And I searched for gems because I wanted to make sure that I didn't have any of these apotheosis gems left over. You can see I don't have any in there. If we scroll down to stuff I've only got some of, these things here do have a few MBT tags, but I'm not super worried about them just because there's not a ridiculous amount. There is a little bit here though. But when I say ridiculous amount, I kind of mean a significant amount more than just a few rows. And the reason I want to mention this is because we have just made ourselves that infinite storage part. And because of that, we're sort of just throwing things into our system like crazy. In fact, if I grab these danks out, this dank has millions, millions upon millions of items in it. If we give that a second, <laughs> give the whole system a second here. Ah, uh, that's it. It's empty. <laughs> and we can have a look in our system. And now those millions of items are in there. And I'm going to do the exact same thing with the first dank seven I made which has like 30 million cobblestone, 2.9 million raw copper, and all of that. Give it a second. I don't know whether you're just staring at me or whether you're frozen because of how much work this system is doing right now. I think you're frozen. Waiting for server. <laughs> and there we go. That should be empty. Now, fair warning, doing something like that on a server itself and not a single player world could absolutely lag out what you have going. But now I have millions, millions and millions and millions of items. And the reason I'm bringing this up is just in case you're not aware of how to do this safely. Putting items like cobblestone, uh, all of this sort of stuff in there is completely fine. They're very simple items, just a little bit of information more than anything. But when it comes to items like these gems from Apotheosis, you can see the NBT tags, four tags, four tags, and such. And they've actually got a little section in storage over here talking about that. So MBT and U, I think it is worth rehashing this and looking at it one more time. Looking to create virtual storage using refined storage or applied energistics too. These are both great ways to upgrade your storage, but it is important to talk about MBT items and the best way to store them. NBT items are items with extra tags attached to them. Enchanted items, items with durability, apotheosis gems, these are all items with NBT tags attached to them. Because of this, they don't usually stack. When you store a lot of these into a storage system like RS or A2, you run the chance of creating issues for your save or server. Because of this, it is best to store them in chests or bags. So basically what that means is the additional information on these, uh, these gems can cause some problems when you're storing it in a digital storage mod like RS or A2. And so it is far safer to store it into a barrel or something like this, which I have been doing with spawners. Um, the spawn eggs don't necessarily need to worry about just because they're sort of a vanilla thing, but anything that you feel like maybe holds a little bit more information because of the tags. See, that only has one MBT tag, so it should be fine. But some things, especially this apotheosis gear, especially apotheosis, it is worth spending the time just to make a different form of storage for it. 
just to be on the safe side, especially if you're on a server with other people. But with that, uh, we are now at 111 million. Oh, gee, that was close to being super satisfying. That is satisfying there. 111 million items stored. That's why I wanted to make the infinite storage drive. Even just making the billion, you can get the idea how it wouldn't be that hard to hit a billion stored items. And uh, I'm already a tenth of the way there. So we managed to get ourselves 228 nether stars, but only 59 of these. And we need two per to make the nether star crux. I kind of wanted to make 80 of those, which means I needed 160. Now the recipe is there is no recipe. It is just a chance drop from the wither upon death. And I'm not sure whether or not that works in something like a hostile neural network uh, recipe. So a loot fabricator from the hostile neural network will just generate uh, predictions of wither to make a nether star. And that is probably one of the ways that we are going to work on getting nether stars alongside our uh, our stuff here. But if we want to start setting up these uh, these nether star cruxes, we might have a bit of work cut out for us. And it might actually be worth investing a bit of time and trying out this with a builder. Yeah. Either that, wild hunt with a skeleton a spawn egg. Hmm. With it be, yeah. There's a few things, a few things we need to look at. But for now, this is actually Future Bottle coming in to say we're going to end it here. Because... Hello? Bears. <laughs> because I've actually continued to work on some stuff and realized that uh, it's too much for this episode. And I don't want it to run too long and to take too long to come out to you guys. So we're going to cut it in half. I'm going to continue to work on what I was working on as far as withers and stuff in the next episode. And yeah, hopefully get it out in decent time to continue this little experimentation with getting ourselves some more wither stars. So with that, I would like to thank my Patreon supporters for your continued support. Thank you to the new ones who have come in recently. I genuinely do appreciate it. And uh, it means a lot that you folks are willing to support me and, and help me to continue this, not only series, but YouTube journey. So with all that being said, until the next episode, I hope you all take care of yourselves and I'll see you then. Bye-bye everyone. Uh, whoop.